In this video, we would like to explain how you can respond to a part declaration request from your customers in Substantio. The declare online command from the request email you received will take you directly to the web-based solution Substantio. Let's start with the overview field. This is the first view you can see after clicking the button from the email. Click on Requested Parts in the navigation bar on the left to see the requested parts or materials. In this example, six parts have been requested for a new or updated material compliance declaration. Once you select a single part, the right side of the page will change to show your selection and five additional tabs will be available. Among other things, general information such as the weight, the article number or other article information, as well as the material declaration, export compliance and documents are requested. Now we come to the main aspect, the material declaration. By clicking on the tab Material Declaration and afterwards on the Edit button, you can see three different ways to declare a request within the Material Declaration tab. Regulatory Compliance Declaration, Full Material Declaration and Abstract Declarations as Unknown or Obsolete. The Regulatory Compliance Declaration, RCD for short, is to indicate the controlled substance groups according to the regulations. If you have a regulated substance above the defined threshold, you must declare the regulated substance group. Each time the regulation changes, you must reconfirm compliance. If you want to fast forward to the RCD guardians, jump to minute 255. For the full material declaration, FMD for short, you must provide a complete list of all materials and substances within a part. A non-disclosure concentration of non-regulated substances up to 9% is currently possible. This value is determined by your customer. A full material declaration does not need to be updated when regulations change, as the compliance status can automatically be recalculated. If you want to fast forward to the FMD guardians, jump to minute 4. If the requested part or material is unknown or obsolete, you can save an abstract declaration within this section. Here the information, product is unknown or obsolete, no information is available, is automatically filled in for each regulation. If you want to fast forward to the AD guardians, jump to minute 512. Firstly, we show you the regulatory compliance declaration. If you have a regulated substance above the permitted threshold, confirm this with the regulatory compliance declaration. If a substance or group of substances is above the permitted threshold or you have applicable exemptions, select Does contain and add substance category. A new panel will open where you need to add the regulated substance category. To do this, click on the plus. Any substance categories not selected will be indicated as compliant. Once you have selected a category, you will need to enter its concentration in the part. Exemptions can also be easily added to the category if they are present as in rows. To do this, click on Exemption and you will be taken to the list of applicable exemptions including ID numbers and validity period. Now we will show you the full material declaration. Within the full material declaration, you can define the materials and substances used in your product, hereby allowing a certain substance concentration of non-disclosure of unregulated substances. You can search for existing materials from a predefined library. Hereby the substance breakdowns are predefined and cannot be changed. For this, you can search and add the substances via the Find and Add Substances button by the name or cast number. After this, you can make the percentage allocation according to the weight for the added substances within the full material declaration list. If rows exemptions apply to your parts, you can also add them within your list. 
To do this, click on Exemptions and you will be taken to the list of applicable exemptions including ID numbers and validity period. Now we show you the abstract declaration. An abstract declaration is used in case you do not know or do not recognize the requested part. This is an unknown part. Or the part is no longer provided or sold by your company. This is an obsolete part. Select Create Unknown or Create Obsolete according to your scenario. You will now be presented with an overview of all relevant regulations. Within this abstract declaration overview, you can select the appropriate use case for each regulation. If you do not change any of the section options, all check marks will automatically be set to unknown or obsolete. Last but not least, the document upload, group declaration and submission. Please note that you also have the option of uploading reports or similar on our documents. To do this, go to Browse and select the desired document or simply drag and drop the file from your desktop. Please specify the document type which you have uploaded from the predefined list. To finish your edits, you have to click on the Save button. The application you have just edited will now appear in green with a symbol of the selected regulatory declaration type. You also have the option to confirm all requested parts with one click via declare in group if all parts have the same declaration of conformity. Simply select multiple parts with the control and select the declare function. The parts that have the same declaration will be listed above. Continue as for the individual declaration. Now the created declarations must be sent via Submit All Declarations. A warning will be displayed if any information is missing. However, you can edit these declarations later if you do not have any information yet. All declarations filled in so far can already be submitted to your customer. Finally, you will see the supplier declaration which must be filled out and confirmed. As soon as this is confirmed, your customer will be informed about the changes to the declaration and the time of the last submission will be displayed. In this video you have learned how to answer your customer's request and send it back to them, from the declaration request via email, over the instructions for the declaration types RCD, FMD and AD, as well as the document upload and group declaration.